We first identify our target and scan it for open ports. We then find port 8080 open for HTTP proxy running something called ScreenStream. We then browse to the running service and see that it requires a pin for access. Let's attempt a random pin, 1111. Based on the URL bar, we can identify that this is sent via GET request and requires a 4 digit pin. Okay, stop right there. While I'm editing this video, this is me from the future by the way, uh, I noticed that I said something along the lines of, if you look up here in the URL bar, uh, we see the 4 1 digits and that's how we know that it requires 4 digits. Okay, let me re-clarify on that. So let me zoom in a bit here. So if I type, like, try and type 5 numbers, or 5 digits, it will only show up being 4. And we can also check out the uh, inspect element. So if we take this, and we look in here, and let me zoom in on this a little bit. We can see the max length is 4, name, pin, you can see the pattern, 0 to 9 required. You see the size is 4, the title for this form, 4 digits, and that's basically how we can tell that it requires 4 digits. And it shows up as dots because the type is equal to password. If you were to change the type to text, we'd be able to see the, uh, the clear text. So yeah, that's all I wanted to add. Back to the video. We then want to use Burp Suite to intercept this request so that we can alter it and test it further. After it's captured, send it to Intruder. Make sure that the attack type is set to Sniper, and the only thing that's selected for Payload 1 is the pin. We then go over to the Payloads tab. Leave the payload type a simple list, and here's where we'll put our attack list. Here I've created a Python script that'll create a list for every possible combination of 4 digits, and put them into a file called 4 digit list. Let's run it. Once we have our list, you want to copy it, and then paste it into here. After that's set, you want to go over into Options and make sure to follow the redirection. Now go back up, hit Start the attack, and let it run until it's either done, or you discover something unusual within the length property. After letting the attack run for a while, we can press length twice to filter our results and potentially find anything out of the ordinary. Here we discover that the payload 0012 has given us a different length than the rest of the payloads used. We'll also notice a difference in the response. For the others containing a 1450, the string wrong is inside of them, identifying that this is the wrong pin that's been used. But going back to the one with the payload 0012, it doesn't contain the string wrong. This makes the pin 0012 a perfect candidate to attempt to log in with. And we're in. Um, we've now gained access to the server that was running. You saw what we did, the enumeration, the getting the request and uh, attacking it, and eventually brute forcing it using the word list of all the combinations from 0000 to 9999. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, that's it for me. I'm out.